Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast. I'm your host, Derek Whitehead. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. We just wanted to take a second and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturday is sponsored by GhostBed. GhostBed's been a loyal sponsor of the Drinking Bros Podcast for over four years. Everybody loves GhostBed. I love GhostBed. I'm the proud owner of two ghost bed mattresses and two pillows and right now if you buy a mattress from ghost bed you get two free pillows and if you go to ghostbed.com slash drinking bros you can save 25 percent that's ghostbed.com slash drinking bros grab yourself a mattress two free pillows get some good sleep enjoy the show welcome back stacy hi hi uh what do you got there what is that in and out what does uh, I mean, hold it up? Hold it up so we can see what you're uh, working with. There. Is it a double That's, double? I don't know the the code words. Is so, it animal style? See, I don't know the code words, but I just get it. I don't like um the sauce they put on it. I don't. Yeah, it's like Thousand Island or something. This is where I struggle. So I don't. So um, you know, uh, an In and Out double double on our health and fitness podcast. But that's all right because I. What's a double double? Or I don't know. That, so it here's have what two I'm pieces saying. Of meat, so here's what I'm patties? saying. No, I can only do one piece of meat. Oh, then it's a single. I don't. I don't eat fast yeah, food. I just do normal. No, you don't. But I. But I often will go get Stacy's food, <sighs> and it's hard to fucking remember what kind of burger she likes at different places because i'm well no but there's like That's she's it. like do you she's like sometimes she's like, like oh you got the sauce on it from this <laughs> place and then the other place is like oh you didn't get the sauce on it God, like this is i don't garbage Derek. i don't know so like when i go you know and i was like hey what do you want and she'll say something I'm like no tell just i say verbatim tell me what to tell the person yep on the other side of the machine because he doesn't know how to order and then wait like, and then when they ask me questions i'm just like I don't know. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm reading a script here. You know, I don't, um, but yeah, I'm no. able to do this, um, magical thing. I have this, I have this like, um, talent where I can get talent. I can get, um, fast food for my wife and not for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's this crazy thing. I don't know how you do that. Or I can, I can, I can make Stacy a pop tart. That's not true. Pop tarts come in, that. pop tarts oh, come in twos. Oh yeah. I'll tell you, uh, I, I learned this. <laughs> so, okay. Here's, oh my gosh. Getting on on pop tarts. All right. Okay. Pop tarts. Part part one of the story. <laughs> where, where should I start? Yeah. We I'll, went I'll start. camping. Okay. Yeah. I'll, okay. We'll tell that one first. So we went camping. What other part? And and um, there? there's another pop tart story. That something that something happened to me yesterday that fucking annoyed the shit out of me. But um, uh, pop tarts. We went we went camping. So I can. There's two pop tarts in a pack. Yeah. I can open a pack, make one for Stacy, and leave the other one. Nice in the pack because I don't eat two. It's I a good skill to have, especially having kids. And I don't eat one. Yeah. yeah. So we were camping, and 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 she wanted a pop tart, and it was a s'mores well, pop tart because you can't have s'mores, right? But yeah. you couldn't have an open fire because yeah. you yep. know too windy. And um, <gasps> but uh, so we didn't have a toaster, so I was like, "Well, I'll cook it on the skillet." So I laid the bitch down, heated her up, and then I flipped Not it, me, and I didn't Pop-Tart. think about it. You so melt the, the frosting. Fro- so the frost, yeah, the frosting. So I flipped it. Sorry. You, you said you laid the bitch down, yeah. heated her up. I <laughs> said, not me, the pop yeah. <laughs> so I So I laid the bitch down. So I laid I the bitch, yeah. I, I laid the bitch down, walked out of the tent, started cooking the pop tart. <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I flipped it and I started, uh, it was in a skillet. We got this cool Coleman grill, yeah. but it's not just like a, it's got a, um, uh, like a, it's a camping a stove. burner, but yeah. then a, but then a grill plate. Oh, yeah. so in a skillet, or in a in a pan on the burner, I flipped the pop tart, started heating up the frosting side. Right, and I didn't. And then when I flipped it over, I was like, "Oh shit!" Because it was super dark. You know, the s'mores one. It got really dark. Right, and you probably and don't was, cook pop tarts this way very often. Right, no, never. <laughs> and then so, um, you just gave it to Stacy. Um, it sort of like smelled quickly burnt and i was like oh we burned it oh that's right i'll eat brulee, it pop tart brulee but, that's so exactly like, where like this my, is going i like <laughs> crystallized motherfucking shit brulee yeah. so i i like my marshmallows um on the fire like i like them dark i like them black oh, like, like crispy yes okay. like i need to get them on fire she, yep. she likes them omar and you know, then, like, how do you like your marshmallows? You ever met Omar? 
Yeah. <laughs> I like them with like the crisp. They need to be on fire. And so I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And then I tasted it and it was, it was like the crystallized sugar. And so it was like crunchy, it but brought also out the flavor. smooth. Yeah. And it was yep. like the burnt, like tinge, like so quick she, hint of burn. So she ordered it again while we were up there. And then yeah. a couple of days later, we were at the house here. And I saw it was just a weird time to be making food. And she had, a, I, I was sitting in my chair and all I could see was she had a little frying pan going. And I was like, you making a pop tart? <laughs> yeah. So she was making a pop tart that way here at the house. So maybe hey, s'mores, pop tarts, brulee. Yeah. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Yeah. You, um, yeah. you didn't have the heat. You did, yeah, enough. you gotta. You gotta could get, you use a brulee torch? Is that what those are called? The, yeah, like, I have one. Yeah, it's just, so a, I could. It's just a torch torch. I, could. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but it's just yeah. a torch torch. I mean, that's how they. That's how they do the sugar on mm. creme brulee. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. I didn't. Yeah, that's my I favorite dessert, by the way. I've never oh, had it's it. So oh, good. It's so very difficult weird. to make. I've made it yep. one time. I've smelled it many times, but I've never eaten. Yeah, creme. I'm an old factory snacker. I yeah, just, I smell Stacy's yeah. treats. I'm like, oof, ooh, that was a good. That's, those that are good fries. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those tacos yeah. were great. Yeah. But here's here's another. I was at I was at the gym yesterday at, at 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 CrossFit Apollo, and I was on one side of the gym, you know, working out, and then on the other side of the gym is kind of like the locker room type area, but yep. it's just it's just a bench, you know, with cubbies and shit. And one of the dudes that's regularly there. At the time I go during open gym, like twelve thirty to to two thirty or so, he was um I just he was sitting down, he was chilling, you know, and he had like a I could see a he was eating something and it was a blue wrapper. Did and you smell it in the no, gym? No, no. Okay, and I tried good. I was like, maybe it's a protein bar or something. And I tried to leave it alone, but I got up and I was like, Are you eating a fucking Pop Tart? And that's that's just <laughs> this is just how I talk to people, you know. I was like, Are you eating a fucking Pop Tart? And he's like, Yeah. I was like you know, so like some people do, you know, and he was like, people eat like gummies, like, yeah, post -workout yeah. And, and he was in, in, I was like, why the fuck are you eating a pop tart before you work out? He's like to get them sugars in, oh, you, you know, pre -workout. That, that was his pre-workout. Yeah, pre oh, yeah. I've heard of post-workout, mm -hmm. but shoot. What, wow. So what did he, what did he say? He's like, he's like, you know, just getting some sugars in, you know, why not? And I said, do you want me to tell you why not? Or and he was like, Meh. and I was like, all right, fuck yeah, it. I don't eat care. your fucking pop tart. <laughs> you know, do you want me to tell you why I'm stronger than you with I half the legs because i like yeah mm -hmm. yeah but no it's a it's They're a weird not my post you know like post-workout people will eat like it, it's a it was a fad thing for a while like pop tarts yeah, or I've sour patch kids i'm like just drink fucking ignition yeah just drink fucking ignition like yes sugar good but you know what candy bad pop tarts Super refined bad. banana ignition go ahead and get some not the same yeah not mm -hmm. same same yeah um so yeah I've uh I, I've never had burgers an in and out. Mm. I, I bought it one time because we made that video. We made the I've, video. I've bought in and out without not for you. So that but, was yeah. that was that was probably one of the first few videos that we made. And what was so impressive about that is that we ordered like an obscene amount of burgers and fries. And then as soon as we were done filming, you literally were like, "Hey Owen, you want this?" Because I'm throwing it away. And I was yeah. like, "You're throwing away like three fucking burgers?" And well, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll I'll eat as much as I can, but yeah. yeah. You fucking just toss them. It's not. I, that, I actually, it doesn't fit my definition of food. Um, well, yeah. I just don't but, like. I don't enjoy it. I really wanted Chick Fil A, but it was really far away. So, you know what I'm looking forward to is Water Burger because I'm going down to Texas. It's all right. I like it better than Chick Fil A. I, I sucks. Like, I like Water Burger better than In and Out. I do. Yep. What did you just say? Chick Fil A sucks. You what? like Chick Fil A? I, did, Chick -fil -A I didn't. Delicious. I didn't. Yes, it is, did. it does not live it. up to his hype. That's the Lord's I was just like, That's blasphemy. No. He liked it. He's trying to pretend like he didn't like it. No, he liked it's it. So it's, good. It's not. No, I would. I would rather have Canes. I would rather have Canes. Okay. Oh, see, I've never canes, had Canes. I would rather. Canes is really I would good rather good have then. Canes. But everybody's like Chick Fil A. So good. You know, I. I, I, it's not. But Dan had. Do you guys follow Dan? Holloway. Yeah. Yeah. So he he put out a fucking recipe. Apparently, there's like a spicy, crispy chicken sandwich at Chick Fil A. Yeah, it's good. And he tells people to put um, like strawberry jam on it. And so, okay. you know the good. Tillamook shit you had, yeah, you had like recently, the sriracha like the strawberry. Yeah. yeah. So heat and sweet, man. Yeah. Heat oh, and that's sweet. True. Go go fuck. And I'm tempted to. Oh shit. 
Pavlov, Pavlov's dog is happening to my mouth right it just now. Happened. Yeah. I'm watering. Spicy I'm strawberry I'm squirting over jam. here. <laughs> like, With cheese uh, and I'm, crackers. I'm gushing delicious. over here. Yeah. So, and I asked him, I was like, I was like, dude, is that an original recipe? Cause that's pretty fucking impressive. And it's, um, um, uh, I don't know if it's a girl he's seeing or saw or that's a her friend. Thing. Yeah, someone. Yeah, yep. So that sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Uh, but uh, so, what are you drinking? Because in and out, I, I said I asked Stacy. I was a like, shake a chocolate shake. But you said they don't have chocolate shakes. You asked a smoothie. It's not a smoothie. Yeah, they're oh. different. Well, it's not a chunky. <laughs> you know, not same. smoothies like fruit <laughs> yeah, stuff. But yeah. It's in, you, but you the don't shake is smoothie. Well, like, what the fuck ever? You got a malt? You said the same thing. I love malt. You said I think that last week when malt. I was like, when you asked me if I make smoothies, I was like, yeah, I make smoothies. Well, what what do you put in them? And I was like, well, you know, the water and the, the powder. And you're like, no, that's a shake. Yeah, that's see? A shake. No, anyway, are you using my own, own words against me? Right now? Totally. <laughs> so this is what you're I fired for lunch. <laughs> Stacy, do you know how to edit a podcast? <laughs> I don't. So you're yeah. The topic of the show today is recovery, and it's going to be today. Today we're doing part one, two episodes talking about recovery. But before we get recovery. into before we get into the topic. Um, I think it's really cool that Ghostbed has signed on yeah. to sponsor our show. Yeah. And so here's a, the funny story um, about Ghostbed is I've had a, it. T- it's June. We've had a Ghostbed for seven months and we got we got a Ghostbed before. Long before Ghostbed yeah, decided ago. to um, oh, I was like, before um, sponsor what? the show. And I don't uh, I didn't know that they sponsored the Drinking Bros podcast and things like that. It's just like we were in the market for a new bed and we went and stayed and visited Jared and Katie, Jared Taylor, um, from Drink Bros and Black Rifle. Yep. Um, and we slept in Paul Paul's room, <laughs> Paul's room, and mm-hmm. and he had a ghost bed, and and it was fucking nice. And yeah, we were in the I market really for a new bed, it. so I'd never. So we we had a new bed. We got a new bed like four years ago or so. Yeah. And I'll just like that bed was like they're what, cool. Yeah. How much was, was that? It was like it's five like, grand, it wasn't was. it? Yeah. It was like five grand, and so. Are they it like, had like a cool breeze top and it was supposed to feel always cold, but I don't. Are they like yeah. foam? Foam mattresses? What, I think the so. ghost bed? Yeah. I don't know. They're comfortable mattresses. Whatever the fuck words they use to say comfort, yeah. I don't know. But the thing, so like our old bed was five grand. Yeah. yeah. And so we need a new bed. And I went, so I went on, you know, Stacy's like, you know, Derek, why don't you look at ghost bed? Paul had a ghost bed. We just slept in one for three days. Did you like that bed? I was like, I like. <laughs> almost anything you know yeah. so i went on the website i'm like what the fuck like king size beds are like just scratching a thousand bucks oh sweet. so it's one yeah. fifth the fucking price yeah and i l- can't tell the difference between the five thousand dollar bed and the one thousand dollar bed score and it was w- and i'd never done straight to your door yeah you don't have to pay for delivery and all that other stuff and i and i i you know it's weird it just comes in a box yep yeah. and like, what the fuck this is a bed and then you like pop that bitch out and it's like <laughs> <laughs> Transforms. It just makes some noise, and it just like puffs the fuck up. And I don't, I don't notice the difference. Um, so I think it's cool that Ghost Bed. Um, that we we would de- we definitely vouch for the for our new sponsor. Yep. Um, here on Savage Saturdays, I wish I, I would have like known that there was a discount code. Um, <laughs> when we bought, yeah, yeah we paid full you. price, you yeah. know. But now they're sponsoring the show, so we're even. We're good to go. I just wanted to uh, share that story. Um, if you're in the if you're in the bed market. We these ghost beds. We're we're probably gonna have to. We're just ghost bed customers just, probably for life now. Don't go out of business, ghost bed. I want <laughs> I want my boys to have ghost beds and all this shit. Yeah. So that's our story there. Um, Do they cribs? Do they make crib mattresses? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> probably not. No idea. We'll ask them. Yeah, got a slapper for you guys. What is it? It's a it's, so it's a weird one. We did German rap. We did last week, but this so th- um, this is a band that we discovered in. England. Yeah, Stacy and I were drinking. Mm. We we got tattoos in England. At Kill the Cat. And then we were in and out of this bar called Kill the Cat. Kill the Cat pub. Is that the pilot one? No. 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 Nope. Well, this was just this one. was just a little yeah. hipster joint. Okay. Um, this one was in London. And the bartender was cool as fuck. And that's yeah. where like he shared with us he was playing some good ass music and I was like, dude, what is this? So one of the bands he was playing was the Warsaw Village band. Okay. Which is really cool, like polka. 
Yeah. Or uh, Polish <laughs> music. It's it's fucking Similar. cool. It's yeah. cool. It's cool. But then this this shit I've been listening to since is this artist, and it, and they're actually quite popular, but it's uh, um, Wardrona. Mm. The band name or artist is is named Wardrona and I'm going to butcher the fuck out of this. So it's not, it's not English. It's, it's Norse music. Okay. But dude, it's like fucking war drum hymns, okay. you know, <laughs> it's really fucking cool. Um, the, 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 they have a new song. It's called like leaf Jaberg. Uh, I don't L Y F J A B E R G. Okay. It's fucking however you pronounce that. I don't know, but it's, fu- it's, it's nasty. And I love, I love this kind of music. Um, during conditioning workouts. And we've, we've sort of talked before about yeah. the importance of the right tempo of music yeah. for different um, f- fitness things, you know? Like, yeah. I can't, I, I don't like, I like listening to metal when I'm lifting. Right. You know? Um, but when I'm doing conditioning work for a long time, I would listen to like electronic music, like techno or something like that. Stacy listens to a lot of bass and drum. I like bass. Bass. Yeah, bass. bass. Drum, or yeah. podcasts. Actually, I've been listening to those while I'm working out. Yeah. I'm too, see my workout. I can't do that. I I wish, uh, but I, I'm too, I'm, I'm much more focused in my workouts than that, but it's, but I'm a competitive athlete. So, um, but, but I like like Wardrona because it's, um, it keeps my heart rate low. Mm -hmm. It's calm, but motivating. And it's just like, you just sit there and chant this masculine shit to yourself and they could, right. they could be saying whatever the fuck. And I wouldn't know, you Are know, you play it for us. Uh, I know. Oh. Did that work out? Yeah. Was, you could hear it. Oh really? Yeah. I well, thought I can, you were, yeah. I mean, you're like hyping. I mean, it's not up. super loud, but it's, yeah, yeah. but he's no, like no, hyping it and like this, no one uh, can hear. Okay. It. No, we're fucking, <laughs> here's, here's this song and it, we'll get into it. Here's this. It sounds like an episode of Vikings. Yeah, so one of their songs, Hellwagen, is on Vikings. Oh, all sweet. Lo- all over the place. All over the place. And so did you hear the drum mm-hmm. there, you know? Like, I use that for a cadence when I row or ski or something, you know, or like when I ride a bike. And so I, I use tempos of music to increase and decrease. Like, here, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to rest. I'm yep. going to go hard. I'm going to rest. Things like that. War drone is great for that kind of music. And there's other bands that I listen to too in this genre of music, but we got more episodes. We got, we'll t- do, we'll just, we'll just do Pace one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, so that, that, uh, the, the, the artist is Wardrona. That's W A R D R U N A. The song is leaf Jaberg. Other songs I like are Hellwagen and Runel Jold. <laughs> I don't even know what language this is, honestly. Maybe somebody will comment. I think it's Icelandic. I asked. I'm not sure. I asked Instagram, and I did not get no a concise clear answer. and concise answer. Uh, yeah. Isn't there? Isn't there? And a, you know what I hate is you go on Instagram, you ask a question, be like, "Hey, can somebody tell me what language this is?" And somebody's like, "I'm not sure, but I think." It's like, shut the fuck up. That's what like, you need I, to do. I want a real mother. You need serious inquiries only. You need to declare that mm. it is the wrong language, and then mm. all the people who want to correct you mm. will come out with the right answer. Mm-hmm. So say it's Japanese, and then yeah. and then all the people will right, be like, yeah. "No, it's this." Fucking like, love this Mongolian thank you. throat just, music. I just yeah. played you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's that's our slapper. I've been listening to that shit for a long time, and then actually we're waiting. Stacy, what was it? A Father's Day gift or for Wardrona? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, Derek has a lot of June holidays, so I just get a bunch of things. And then shots give giving. Him, yeah, dude, I fucking joined the army, retired from the army, and got shot in the army, all in June. All in June, and mm-hmm. now Father's Day. Father's Day, and. I thought there was one other one. Super hard to fucking. Well, know. National Donut Day, but that's, that's what Stacey I thing. celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I got him some stuff, but it's coming from Germany, so it's taking a while. I contacted them; they haven't responded back, but that's fine. Yeah. One of those things, mm. like, "Hey, got you a gift." Oh, it's in the mail. <laughs> yeah, no. Here's the invoice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Happy Father's yeah, Day. COVID's ruining my gift. I want it too because it looks sick as fuck. She showed me a picture of what she got me. So. It says that um, they actually use multiple languages. So really? Old Norse, Norwegian, Icelandic. It just depends honestly on like the song. On the song. Yeah. And then their inspiration and yeah. yeah. 
That's cool. So, you know, I have you ever, you've got, you, we, we've talked about this, 23 and me and shit like that. You've got yours done, right? I have not got oh, mine Oh, yeah, okay. So you have no idea what you are. I, you I know what confirm. I am. I know. You I know what 20. I am from, because I have family that, like, came has, over. Has done? Like, within within a generation. got to do 23 and me. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm, a, I'm German, Scandinavian, and I have all these Norse tattoos on my face. And you know you what? You walked out there. But yeah, well, I, I just, dude, I just got it. You know, like so I got this. <laughs> I got this, which is I guess this like the fucking wolf from Nordic mythology. You Fender. guess? Well, I thought it was a dragon. <laughs> so okay, so I just how looked does that at work shit. when you just okay. So I didn't fucking all care. Your face tattoos are wrong. Well, uh, so so here's <laughs> I I thought it was a dragon. Yeah. Well, <sighs> these are the conversations we've had, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was well, like, and the other so one like, spelled wrong. Well, so here's 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 the, the whole. It's I like, won't so comment on I thought I thought it. I thought I didn't care. I thought it was drinking. I was like, that looks fucking cool. And actually, I got it was um that show on Netflix, The Last Kingdom. Okay, I so there's a character it. Ubba. Yeah, and he's just got like a dragon right here, but I his kind of goes like down the eye. Um, didn't do that, but I got. Or apparently, it's not a dragon. It's a fucking wolf, and he chase. He fights fucking Odin. Or okay. something like that, you know? Oh, yeah. And then so because I was like, oh, shit. Okay, that's friend. I had a, th- I, and I, I only got these tattoos to balance it out, mm-hmm. you know? So I picked anything. I was, I just went on the internet. I was like, oh, that looks cool. So and I got this. That looks cool. I'll put that on my face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And whatever. You know? And then, but I was looking at, but I looked at it and it's like, oh, it's this, you know, veg visor or something like that. And it just means like to, um, you know, uh, put fear in your enemies or something like that. You know, I was like, cool. Yeah. That'll balance it out. Yep. And then I was like, fuck, I need something up on top. You do. And so I just looked at, it, it could be totally made up, but I looked like a, <clears throat> a translator. And so this is supposed to translate to, I don't give a fuck right mm-hmm. there on my face. And so, you know, but I'm not like, I've, I've taken a mythology course and I've taken an ancient history course in college. And that yep. was, you know, very Viking heavy shit, which is cool. But you, I, I, you know, some, there was just, it was last week and it's always the kind of person I was at the gym and a dude's like, you know, he's like, are you Norse? And I'm like, is anybody like, it's fucking, it's, it's 2020, man. Is, is fucking anybody? <laughs> I was like, I just thought the shit looked cool, you know, or, or, you know, and then he goes on and then sometimes he's like, some dudes get a fucking boner for this stuff, you know? And he's sitting there, he's, he's telling me about all this mid you know this mythology and he's telling me the story of Fenrir and things like that and I'm like you're I was like okay and I, I don't have anything to contribute to this conversation because I don't care because <laughs> I picked it off yeah the wall. but but it's like these guys yeah, are so like you're the weird one but but no but 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 so this here's the thing this guy's like puffing his chest because he knows about Nordic mythology well, yeah. well, but he's course. fucking fat if and you sloppy have it tattooed I was like, well, well, onto you okay, then you okay. would assume well he's you know he's like this like chubby fucking soft motherfucker with this hard belief system I'm like well what the fuck dude if you like Vikings so much why are you such a pussy but how you know, often like, do you get to work that into conversation <laughs> yeah you know like if that's your history mm-hmm. thing yeah that's do funny. I like I I I do. I get a I get a personal, I get a I get a I get a boner that I masturbate to about Viking stuff. It's just for me. It's personal. It's not you know, sure. I like the, uh, I like uh, the ideals, and a lot of them are made up because like there's a lot of things about Vikings like they were farmers and mm-hmm. they weren't as hard and aggressive as we portray them in movies and things like that. And there's a reason they attacked churches and not cities. <laughs> you know, soft so, targets. Yeah. Soft targets. Um, all right. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Recovery. Post-workout. I th- so, okay, thank you. Recovery, so the, my first, my, the first thing I want to talk about, recovery starts before you exercise. I, th- I think the biggest thing, so we're, we're talking about like, so when we say recover, there's, there's different things. It's like, if you're new to fitness, we want you to not be fucking so sore that you can't go back to the gym. Or something like that, you know. Yep. And so the biggest thing about recovery is 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 um this uh, you, you got to train smart. You got to train at your level. And what did you say to me yesterday? Um. So it it was from a book about recovery. So I haven't actually read the book, but I've um I want to, and it's I was listening to a podcast because I like podcasts about it. So the writer of the book 
um, talks about it. And she said, you can only benefit from the training you can recover from. So that is like what the whole book is based off of. So if you think about it during training, all that you're doing is you're breaking your muscles down. You're getting little micro tears into every muscle. And that is what building muscle is, is it's the repair of the muscles that you just broke down. So when you're training, you're breaking them, but during recovery, you're putting them back together and building them. So all the time spent not in the gym lifting weights is actually more beneficial than the time that you're spending lifting weights. And I was like, oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) So you can train for 16 hours a day or, you know, lifting weights for two of those hours, whatever. But if you can't recover successfully from that two hours that you just spent lifting heavy weights, well, then it was all for naught and you literally just wasted your time. So the recovery process is actually more key than the lifting process. Yeah. And that like, well, that solidified it for me. Yeah. You know, and if you think about it, we're all working on our bodies 24 hours a day, whether we put effort into that or not is a choice, but it's like, you know, do we exercise what we eat? Are we sleeping? We'll get into all these things. But, but, you know, um, you said that to me yesterday because I, I fucking pulled my groin. Yeah, doing yesterday. what? Doing like bending, nothing, I'm, right? I'm done bending down and picking shit up off the floor. Yep. I've, I've gotten like... It's like pregnancy. Some kind of injury. If it's the, down, it's twice. dead. That's what I said. I don't close the, the slider the last, door. In the last... What? I don't close the slider door for the same reason. Oh, like, like... The last three times... That's how you tear your pack? Dude, my yeah. back. It's really? My, every time is the yeah. fucking... You need to increase your core. I know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's for me core is like closing the sliding glass door. Yeah. That's funny. We're so old. We can like go into our muscle groups. Like, what'd you do? Oh, I was closing the door. No, but, but when, so, you know, um, I see it, I see it all the time. It's like soreness stops people from, yeah. so like, it's just imagine a person who hasn't worked out in six months to a year, or even you go on, you, if, if we go on vacation for 10 days, I scale my workouts when I come back for two weeks, because the goal when, when you're just getting into fitness or you're just coming back after a break and it can only be a week off, I'm scaling my shit. Yeah. You know, because the goal when you're getting back into fitness, the goal is to show up the next day, you know, so yep. that you can and, and like you'll get better and better and better and better. And then finally, you'll be able to, you know, put up some good performances and stuff. But like, yeah. you know, like I have some friends, I see them in the gym once every two weeks and they come in and they just fucking go full throttle. Oof. And then what, then they, and then, but their body isn't ready for that. Yeah. Their body isn't ready for that. Yeah. And then they're too fucking sore to come back the next day and the next day. And then their, you know, their, their ego is bruised, you know, right. and then they're, they sink into a slump And then they're like, fuck it. Today's going to be my day. And they come out super aggressive again, 100%. They fuck their bodies up. And this cycle, there's there's some people I know, and I've watched this cycle. That's how they've lived for years. And I'm just like, why don't you just slow the fuck down, remove your ego from it, and just like, if if you can bench press 135 10 times, but you haven't worked out in 10 days, bench 95 pounds. 10 times just move Mm -hmm. get your breathing in rhythm get your body used to releasing the chemicals it needs to release to repair stuff because dude doms suck one of the worst things is to like what is doms delayed onset muscle soreness so that's what we call it you know or that or that's what it's called so it's like one of the worst things dude when if i've taken a break from fitness when i come back and train my biceps (laughs) super light because yeah, I, mean, I, I yeah. used to not be that way do the like one of the worst things is when you can't yes. extend your fucking arms i've had that happen T-Rex one time that yeah. shit, dude i had that happen one fucking time brutal they were stuck they were stuck yeah. like that i was like i can't mm-hmm. i can't extend my arms and mm-hmm. and so if, if you're if you've if you've taken a break and you come back and you go too hard it yep. doesn't matter how much water you drink what supplements you take what you eat or how much sleep you get you're fucked yep like you're just For fucked days. up and so, well, that's also like a mental aspect too. Mm-hmm. Like I would be afraid to come back because yeah, I screwed up. So. Yeah. And it's, so it's, so it's like the mentality shift of like, but we, but in, in our culture, mm. it's like you fucking go big or go home, go harder, go home. If you're not giving a hundred percent, you're giving 0%. It's like, no. 
Actually. No, but when you get smart, you're like, you know what? 60% is 100%. Yeah. Yep. You know? Especially 70, today. Yeah. And like, that's why, like, so our programs, the programs we sell on DerekWhite.com, yeah. it's like week one. Okay. Find a, your a, person. Establish, establish a max. Yep. It's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. But then we scale back and you're doing, you're doing 60% yeah. in a week. And then you're doing 65%. And then you're doing 70%. And then you're doing 75%. The best thing you can do in fitness is learn how to fucking train smart. Yeah. You know, periodization block training, Brandon yeah. Allen called it, phase training, things like that. Yep. You don't just fucking show up yeah. and go hard You're because you, like, it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. You're not going to recover. Yep. So that's my first bit of advice is like train smart. Train at your level. If you're fat and out of shape, train like a, a fat and out of shape. Like just like yeah. easy, easy, mm-hmm. easy. Be nice to your fucking body. Give it, t- you know, give it yep. time. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to win a race like right away. So, mm-hmm. and it depends too what your goal is. Like, are you going to be a runner? Are you trying to run a marathon or a 5K? Or are you trying to win, you know, the CrossFit competitions? So yeah. It depends. So that's why I like, I'm doing Wida RX right now. That's why I like the percentages too, because my percentage is not Derek's percentage. Right. But I know my percentages. So I have, I actually save it in my notes on the iPhone. And so I have all my maxes and then I just go in, I type it in, do my awesome calculating because I don't know how to do maths. And then <laughs> that's what I do. That's for why. Day. So like the, our, most of our programs on DerekWhite.com, like White RX, the CrossFit program, the so fucking fit programs, the at home programs, mm-hmm. it's all percentage based training. Right. So that's why Stacy can do the same program that my mom does. Yeah. My sister's doing it. And we have a we have a friend who's super in shape and she's a Thunderbird yeah. pilot. Yep. She's doing so an active she's fighter jacked. pilot is doing the same program my mom is doing because it's percentage percentage based. percentage based. Right. And then they like they're they're um this is the same workout mm-hmm. yeah. at your level. Right. At, at your level. That's it's very important to train at your level. And you'll yeah. get better if if you start at fifty percent. I've already got better. Yeah, every is like yeah, yeah. So and there's yeah. testing phases in between, like so then but yeah, so my my right trap has been bothering me the last couple of days. I think it was pressing last week or something. I don't know. And so yesterday or the day before I like scaled back on some things and I didn't do knees to elbows, which is what Derek told me to do. He said, instead of, you know, pinching that even more scale that even, and then just go down to, I did sit-ups. So still working the core, but I'm not like pinching that particular nerve as much. So it's a, I I took this from Rich Froning. It was, it was Rich Froning and maybe he got it from somewhere, but it was hit. I, I, he said in training, I listen to my body Mm -hmm. in competition. I tell it to shut up. Yeah. But like, so the goal in training is to the, the number one goal in training and people don't think about this. They only think about their, their, their end goal. Mm -hmm. The goal of my training today is obviously to get better, but my, it's my main goal is to be able to work out tomorrow. Right. And that's true every day, you know? So like my, my pulled grow, like I strained my groin or something like that (laughs) yesterday morning. And then, but I had more training to do in the afternoon. I dialed that shit back you know, went, went, went way lighter. And I talked to my coach about it and he's like, yeah, cause I'm the one who's here. I feel, you know, right. so it's like, there is smart training totally. and, and, and nobody's out there just like grinding through injuries like a fucking mm-hmm. idiot. Cause that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to lose. Can I know? push through this? Yeah. Yeah. Is there going to be consequence to doing there's, it? Well, there's, 100%. so it's, you know, that's the balancing that there's some things you can push through. Yeah. You know, but, um, but if, this is about recovery. Mm-hmm. And so yesterday I was like during my second workout, the one thing I, cause yesterday was also shots giving. And so it's like yeah. just a fucking weird day for me. But I was like, you know, I was, was like, should I work out? Should I not work out? What's best? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, nah, I need to go work out. And then before my workout, I said, it, I, I say things out loud to myself. You know, I was like, me I was too. like, I was like, Derek, <laughs> the only wrong thing you can do is hurt yourself. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I was supposed to do four by eight snatches at a hundred pounds. I did four by eight, but I went 75, 75 and I was feeling pretty good. 95, 100. Yeah. So, and nice. then, and then I had a, I had a, a quick burner. I had a 20 minute AMRAP to start the training. I was supposed to do it in the morning, but my, my, my growing hurt. And so I, <laughs> I took that, I took that light and slow. Yeah. 
And instead of doing pistols, I did pistols to a bench. I, I was supposed to do 25 pound wall balls. I did 14 pound wall balls, you know, and I went at a more casual pace right. and I was just like listening, engaging. I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know? Yeah. So I did that, scaled back the snatches. And then in my wad, it was 30, 20, 10, hang, dumbbell snatch and single arm thrusters. And my coach said, go between 20 and 40 pound dumbbells. So I was going to grab the 35 and I was like, ah, dude, don't do it, Derek. You know, I was like, ah, 30, like, don't do it, Derek. I was like, grab the fucking 20, went and grabbed the 20. It took me four minutes and 45 seconds. I've got my lungs, you know, working. I got a nice sweat. I felt good. I was done with my workout and I didn't fucking hurt myself. Yep. You know, and then like my shit's tight now and I got to take care of it, but it's not torn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's the point too, is you can easily recover from what you did Mm -hmm. versus if you went like balls to the wall, you might not have been able to recover as quickly. Yeah. So remember three years ago before rush club when I fucking, so I, 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 before like 40 days before a competition that had toe to bar ring muscle ups and cleans, I tore or at least partially tore the connector between between yeah back here and so i couldn't do a pull up for 40 days and and it went down i my warm up um he didn't do it until the actual event yeah so, so we didn't know mm-hmm. going into it if he could even do it yeah right. or like if my when shit was gonna rip off or what the fuck right. yeah, yeah literally we he was mm-hmm. it was clock had started he was against the other guy <laughs> and it was just like I Let's mean, see. I don't know if it was public at that point. Even we kind of were just like, <gasps> yeah, didn't talk about it. But but I could have avoided that because my I it was I I remember I had like six by eight bar muscle ups that day. But before that, my warm up was assault bike and ring muscle ups. That was a programming mistake. Yep. I am not the kind of person who can just warm up with ring muscle ups. I need to be super fucking warm. My yep. tendons just I'm just I you know I I we're don't s- stretch. Well, I, you know I never put an emphasis on being mobile and stretching and things like that i'm a right. pro yeah. i can do that stuff but i need to be good and warm you know and i felt an irk right away and i was just like i Ooh. you know keep going keep going keep going so i i i think i did two sets of bar muscle ups and i was fucking wrecked yeah and i just kept doing them and until i couldn't do them anymore and then I'll, and that's you know so you pushed, you pushed through it and you got them and I made it the consequence fucking worse yeah was that you made Super it worse fucking worse yeah. Yeah. yeah and then I wasn't I couldn't even deadlift um I was for my so my training I couldn't de- I could I was only deadlifting 135 pounds and I had to use my Versa grips yeah because I couldn't even hold the barbell it hurt so fucking bad and I so learning from so that you were over training. Yeah, well, like, well, that was a huge, and I got sick before Derek Carver. Yeah, overtraining and training through injury has been a fucking huge weakness of mine yeah. as an athlete over yep. the years. Yeah. And this this training cycle we're in now, it's just like the culmination of all those things learned. It's like sometimes the best thing, the best workout you can do is the one you fucking don't do yeah. type shit, you know? The recovery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just like listening to your body type, mm-hmm. you know? So that's, um, that's, that's, that's my, like my biggest point, you know, and I, maybe that's a missed thing in conversations about recovery is like recovery starts <laughs> before it's time for, how so, are you pushing yourself? And you've done your oh, dude, running right. I because feel like you, I've you started, finally mastered yeah, exactly what you, we're talking about. Mm-hmm, yeah. You started walking. Yep. Then you just, fucking gave it a little dabble, a yep. little bit of running, nothing yeah. too crazy. And that took like that took like two weeks to get to, to where I felt yeah. like my knees and ankles weren't hurting. Like mm-hmm. I didn't have that deep bone joint yeah. ache. And then did like, you know, uh, quarter mile runs and then stitched and then walk for a little bit mm-hmm. and then another quarter mile and then walk for a bit. And, and your body's learning that dude, too. Like, that's, okay, that's now this thing. is normal and it's getting yep. used to those movements. Yep. You're, and your body prepares for that shit. Totally. It like, remembers I was, it's muscle memory. You know, right. my coach yeah. was telling me, you know, he's, he's, he, he, he tries to encourage me to only train once a day. And I'm like, dude, I've been training twice a day for like 16 years. If, if I don't work out first thing in the morning, my, my body is just, my body is already prepped right. for that morning workout. It's got the chemicals ready to go. Yep. It's like timed release things. Like it knows. It would be it messed up knows. if you didn't do it. Yeah. And so it's it's weird. It's different. You know, my my body's programmed for that. So like when you're 
doing your comeback and you're just walking, but you're walking every day, yeah. the progress you're making that you don't see is your brain is like, what's this? Totally. This is new. We need to start preparing for <clears throat> yep. this. And that's why like my, like my rigid schedule, it makes sense. Or like my yeah. body enjoys that, yeah. you know, cause it, 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 it's doing shit that we it's, don't fucking know, man. It's, like, it, you're right. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's the consistency. Like even when, mm-hmm. even when I'm like, I, I go to sleep, I'm always super motivated the night before. And then I wake up the next morning and I'm like, Oh man, I don't feel like I did, you know, going to bed. Yeah. I'll, I'll scale it back. If I'm, or if I'm, if I'm really just like, I don't want to do this. I'm like, I have to at least do something. Yeah. yeah. And, and maybe that ends up being the walk day because I need yeah. the mm-hmm. consistency. So that way, whatever my body's doing to prepare yeah. for five K's and, and, and getting better yeah. that I at least have that like, Hey, every day at yeah. this time there's movement happening. Yeah. yeah. And you just feel better. And we had to have this conversation cause you were getting a little bit beat up post-workout with like headaches oh, yeah. and exhaustion and things yeah. like that. And I was like, and I was, and I was telling you, I was like, why don't you just scale that shit for a while? Cause the yeah. program you're doing is fucking hard. Yeah. yeah. It's just hard on paper. It's a yep. hundred plus degrees outside yep. and <laughs> I drink water. I get like electrolytes and all that stuff. I feel like, I feel like I'm doing the right things, but it's kind of only around the workout. And then after that, I kind of, I'm not, I'm discovering I'm not recovering as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. So I need to do different things. And so it's, I'm learning me yeah. again. Yeah. And and again, and you took a long ass break. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you worked out intermittently, Yeah, but you were pregnant, a high risk pregnancy with twins, yeah. had twins. Yeah. Life was busy. Yeah. Yep. You know, like, and, and I was the one who encouraged, or I was encouraging you during it all. I was like, yeah. fuck fitness. Yeah. We're, you know, got kids. We're right. Just like, that's your, like, we'll get it back. Some, so you are, it's, it's safe now and you're on your comeback. Well, so yeah. So I'm doing wide RX, but I remind him a lot that I'm not an RX athlete and I never will be an RX athlete. And that's not my goal. Yeah. My goal is to literally be a functioning mom where I can do what I did yesterday and go to like a play place and literally climb up all these things and through and duck and mm-hmm. run and jump. And all the other moms are sitting on the benches right? and I'm right there right. with my kids. So that, you know, um, I said, and I'll just share this. So if you're not an RX athlete and you don't want to be an RX, RX athlete, don't do the RX program. Cause like yeah. the, the so fucking fit programs, that's what it is. It's, it's, yeah. it's the same style of training, mm-hmm. but in the so fucking fit programs, one, there's no cleans or snatches, barbell cleans or snatches. Cleans. I know. Snatches. Yeah. That's why I so, do wide to RX. I yeah. really like barbell movements. Sure. And I, rem- I, I really like learning them and yeah. You're really good I, at I, it. You I, have like ridiculous. I hope our boys have your hips. Yeah. I prefer that style of training. That's why I did Y to RX. And I know that I can scale it. And I feel like at this point, scale it smartly because I've learned. Yeah. Oh, you know what years. the trick is that I'm doing right now? So when it says 60%, you go off 60% of your 100%, you know? But so say, say your one rep max is 135 and you're clean. Yeah. Okay. Go 135 times 0.9. So 90%. Then times 0.6. That's how I'm scaling my lifts right now. I don't understand. What so it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, so when, when the program, I don't do okay, okay, yeah, okay, we're like, this is pretty simple. So, and it's, so if, if the program says 60%, do 60% of 90% in six, instead of 60% of 100%. Okay. Just take your fucking number times 0. 0.9 times 0. 0.6. Okay. And so that was my first phase of training. We were going off, we were going 90%, yeah. like 60, 80% of 90%, but now it's 93%. So it's not like we're scaling smart. Right. So maybe that's how. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, this. <laughs> You're like, not tracking, are you, Owen? I, I'm smiling like, and nodding. Do, yeah. Like, I kind of understand. I'm tracking. It's fucking, like, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But I'm talking <laughs> Solid about plan. recovering. Yeah. And so. Like even yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was, I was doing snatches and in between my snatch EMOM, I was using that Theragun. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know the science behind all of it, but oh, little fucking tiny, I, tiny, tiny hands punching you. Yeah. It's like a percussive, times a yeah. percussive mm-hmm. percussion. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So that's something you use though. Fucking love that. The thing. Theragun. Yeah. Well, why yeah, do you, guess. why do you like it? Where do you use it? So. All right, we'll get in. Yeah, so the Theragun is um, 
it's one of those massage gun things that you know yeah but the new one is quiet it's like is it oh dude it's fucking quiet (laughs) yeah so um actually so i've tried i i don't as far as like recovery and modern tools and things like that I, i don't do i you know like my recovery is like nutrition hydration supplementation right and rest okay but there's all these like new things always coming out my my everybody's always trying to not be in pain and that seems silly to me in part because it's like why not learn how to live and thrive in pain like because you're gonna hurt no matter what why? so there's there's <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I, it seems like that's why alcohol exists right but it seems like everybody's always trying to escape the hurt but sometimes the hurt is what it's um you earn that it's it's you know it's like there's it different hurts yeah there, mm-hmm. so that there's I know different the hurt you're hurts. talking about yeah the, listen I I've never been shot side to side through the knee but I, I have don't want to <laughs> yeah but so but, like if I'm like I'm actually hurting my yeah. so I actually think this is like a true injury and not yeah. just like an actual like a, yeah soreness versus well, like, injury. yes soreness versus injury there is a yeah. difference and it's hard to tell if you're not familiar with your body. And so right now I actually think I'm injured. <laughs> so um, anyway, well, like, yeah, uh, I don't so, want to feel But an injury injured means you got to go get it fucking looked at. A exactly. nag. Oh, you think you need to go get it looked at? Maybe. It's like like nerve. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. Well, pinching so, your neck, that shit hurts for like two weeks. Actually, Wes, one of the coaches at CrossFit Apollo, he pinched his shit and he did this thing to me where like, you know, I was, I was he had to turn and look at me and he was like this. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's like instant trap. fuses yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so <laughs> that 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 Theragun. We'll we'll talk about this um, for a little bit. You know, I I tried some shit. You know those like electrode things or something, like yes. a tens unit. Yeah, super fucking expensive. What's- does tens, tens stand for something? It does, but I have no idea. Yeah. What it is. Yeah. That's what, yeah. Electro something. Yeah, so yeah. that's Simulation. all that these companies like My Power Dot Compex and things like that. That's mm-hmm. all they've done. They've they've made tens units look nice, and they're very expensive. Yeah. And I didn't like tens. They tried to when I got shot when I still had my leg. They used tens units while I was um, because it's laid up in the hospital. Yeah, yeah it stimulates. You know, but I fucking hated it back then. I was like, this is dumb. It, like, this is fucking felt, dumb. Just put my fucking leg back together and I'll go do some squats and leg press and shit. I always thought they felt good like in the moment, but it had zero benefit Yeah, to me so I actually that. had, I, I spent 450 bucks on one of those products because I, I was desperate, kind of. I needed, I needed to do better recovery. My workouts have been getting progressively harder and harder over You're the years. You're getting older and, and older. I'm getting older and I'm getting better. So things are getting heavier. Time strict, you know, time caps are getting shorter. It's just getting, it's, harder training but that's good because i'm getting better but i need to do more recovery yeah. so i looked into these things and those te- that tens unit shit i was like this is fucking dumb man I, I i don't feel anything i don't feel anything and so i'm <sighs> skeptical about everything it, maybe they work for people maybe some people fucking love those and it yeah. works cool I, i'm just saying for me it didn't work so okay. i was super skeptical yeah but I, you see all these massage guns going oh, yeah. around now every you know yeah. and i was Rollers like yeah so that's interesting because the author of that book that I'm talking about, I'm going to have to get that book, but her name is Christy Ashwanden. Um, I'll get the, the I'll get the name of the book. Oh, so okay. um, I heard this on the Art of Manliness podcast and she talks about all of the new like toys and tools that are out these days. So part of the reason why there's all these new things coming out all the time for recovery is because there's a market for it. Oh, right. It was an empty space before. So of course people are going to market these things and brand them and all that. But she has done science and research and all this stuff on these things as well as other people. And they're discovering that maybe they don't work for some people, but maybe they do for others. So it really is. You have to try it, which well, kind yeah. of sucks. Placebo works. So like she says real that. Thing. And it's, it's like if, if you're she buying believes, for a, if you're paying for a placebo effect, yeah. you're still getting the same results. So that's exactly <laughs> what she says. Yeah. She says a placebo effect is very present in a lot of these tools. Mm-hmm. However, if the placebo effect works, it does work. It's a thing. Yeah. So you got your money's worth. Yeah. So yeah. she if, she if that says, sugar pill works, dude. She says if they if things work for you, buy it. Like yeah. do it. And mm-hmm. it, maybe there's no like direct science behind it, but if it makes you feel good 
good, yeah. that is all the better. That's Just what, keep that's, doing That's it. kind of my pitch when, when people are talking to me about fat burners. That's part of it that I put in there. If it's like, if it's a placebo effect that gets you off, off your ass and moving, yeah. you're getting your money's worth. Right. Because you're getting up off your ass and moving. I'm going to get you know? the name of this book. But, um, so I'm skeptical about all this shit. But again, like, dude, bicep tendonitis has been just um, a major issue for me over the years. And I actually like feel a lot better. I, it hasn't been an issue in a while. I'm a lot smaller. My body likes to be this size. Yep. Uh, but so I was different. Go, sorry. Go got ahead. it. Sorry. So it's actually a New York times bestseller. It's called good to go. What the athlete and all of us can learn from the strange science of recovery. Should I should probably read that. So it's super good. So she like in that podcast, the art of manliness, she talks about a lot of the key points. And so, um, and who, anyways, who, it was who's really running great. this art of manliness podcast. Are they, have we checked them out? Are they, I've never heard. Do they have manly backgrounds? Oh, they know. they have like really great topics. Like it seems like basic common knowledge things, but they oh, discuss like what's his what's his what's the guy's yeah, name? I, the I old Delta guy, McNamara. Pat. Pat. His do you have you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. Basic For a while. basic dude stuff. That's basically what it is. Basic Hold on. dude stuff. And he and he tells you like what fucking plant he's looking at right or, you know he's like <laughs> like the nazis tying and stuff half hitch basic dude stuff or like the other day he fucking uh um put a cup of coffee on his uh old lady's night table yeah I, i'm gonna I, i'm gonna look him up right now because you guys gotta fucking dude that's you need that, to follow this guy that stuff is important it's because there's a lot of people right? who yeah. yeah, so here's 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 what someone. What stuff? What stuff's important? Like knowing how to tie listen. knots and how to oh, for how sure. to do all yeah. the stuff oh that gosh. maybe your dad didn't teach you. Bert Koontz today, he on his Instagram, he did you see it? He was like, um, he posted in his stories this guy that was just like cutting a tree down. It was like a massive tree, mm. right? With you, like you'd love this and guy, this stuff. Stacey. And I was like, that is cool. No, like, I'm so gonna cool. show you these videos afterwards. Uh, it's it's Pat McNamara, and his Instagram is T Mac. T Max Inc. So it's T M A C S I N C. Basic dude stuff. Basic. I'm not that fucking manly. This guy is tenfold manlier than I am, you know. But I, I still got time. He's older than me. Yeah, you He's got, old, you I got, got I got time. time I can get there. I was like, you can shit. Learn how to use tools. I need to learn horticulture. Right. You know. You Ooh, fucking. That's a big word. You like that shit? <laughs> Nobody thinks I know the fucking word horticulture. <laughs> I can <laughs> drop it whenever I want. Stop, <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, do you want me to read some of these topics on the Art of Manliness podcast? Or no. Then? Okay. I want to talk about the Theragun. Oh, okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, so I have only used it a couple times. I'm not sure if it worked exactly or what it was supposed to be doing for me. So I don't know, but it works for you. Yeah. Um, well, you get relief from it, right? I get... I get like an immediate relief, but I mean, yeah. it's still kind of always there. So well, it I doesn't, prefer... yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like treat it. it help, so I was just, I right. needed so something to help point? with nags and pains. And, and so I was like, I see all these people using these massage, massage guns, Theragun to it's it stuck out in my head as like one of the premier original. Yeah. One yeah. of the OG premier lines, very expensive. Yeah. So the gun I bought was like six hundred and eighty dollars. But so they have they have different models, but you know, even the cheap guns cost three, four hundred bucks. Yeah. And if I'm gonna spend three or four hundred dollars on something, I'm gonna get the nicer one. Cause it's not that much because you're already you're already invested. You're committed. You know? Yeah. So um I got I I was very skeptical about this shit, but I was like, I just I need to try it, you know? Really nervous about the amount of money I spent on yeah, that's this a lot thing for a thing, um, but I got it and I started I using it and instantly what I haven't seen that in the bank account yet. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Derek said mm -hmm. it was expensive, and Stacey's mm -hmm. face goes what? <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. Yeah, um, but I, I got it and I used it on some sore spots, and I was like, fucking amazing. So does it help just like with tightness, like you're tight? So it's 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 great for. Um, Hey, you got a fucking signal on here. That's okay. No. <laughs> oh, we'll keep going. Owen's doing um tech shit. Uh no, so so the the Theragun is is good for activation, you know, hitting hitting uh, hitting tight spots. I use it for activation during my warm up, you know. Or like so. <laughs> you sound just sitting like the there boys. drilling my butt. 
before my workouts, <laughs> yeah. you know, fucking just, you know, get her going. No. So I, you know, and it's just like 15, 20 seconds each spot. So you do pre-workout. Pre-workout, uh, during workout. Okay. I did. So during. that's like your stretch. You're, it kind of. I do like it while stretching. I'm stretching. It's like activation, but I have tight spots like my biceps. And I'll tell you, so this, this is not. We've this isn't sponsored by Theragun, and yep. we have we have no ties to that. We paid full price for that motherfucking shit. They did eventually <laughs> send me their new gun for the, free because I, I just got to talking to the guy who started it. Yeah, he reached out, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Well, because you had already been using their mm-hmm. product. You were talking yeah. about it on Instagram and, and like yeah. the owner of the company was yeah. like, hey, what's up? So Derek, I bought, so, like I, so I spent $700 on this Theragun and two weeks later, they released like their new model, yeah. which is quieter and all this. I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? Damn I it. spent all that money. I thought I got the latest and greatest but shit. He, I didn't He does I didn't not know. promote anything he doesn't actually use yeah, or believe no, he does in. Not. like he tells people no all the time because he doesn't either use it or he's just not confident in it so yep. i believe all of this so i get really butthurt when somebody calls me a sellout oh yeah like, if no. you only knew oh, but um oh, but it, so this so so just <laughs> so um just recently it was so, um two days ago my fucking calf i've been my human leg has been just giving me mad problems lately like my knee was super fucked up yep and then i took care of that but then i had this like knot in my calf for days and it hurt so bad until i finally at the gym took the theragun to it and i'm like no shit not kidding relief Hmm. and i was able to work out and so just like released a knot or something yeah well it's it's sort of like you know how you go get a massage yeah that's why your shit so that's what it does so the problem that i don't see i guess is like i'm not a masseuse so i don't know like trigger points or muscle groups or anything like that so i'm just literally like you know on my trap i have no idea what i'm doing which kind of also makes me nervous too like am i gonna hit something else i don't know but you really can't do anything wrong with a (laughs) thing it's not a chainsaw (laughs) (laughs) sometimes i wish you're probably gonna be okay yeah (laughs) Yeah. listen i don't know so (laughs) i'm just i'm a worry war this thing gonna shoot my eye out (laughs) are we (laughs) doing surgery (laughs) yeah yeah, no, so like before that, before I got the Theragun, and I've only had it for a couple months now, it's a lacrosse ball. I use a lacrosse ball. Yeah, but that okay. shit's super hard to get into different positions. <laughs> yeah. So like, I've never been big on foam rolling. I think it's- Or I, flossing. I don't like my teeth. No, isn't oh. that what that's called? Yeah, fuck flossing. Oh, okay, I was yeah, like- I've been, <laughs> I've been flossed once. Oh my once. God, flossing? Monica flossed my, because I told her my shit. So you like just wrap bands tight around you and it's supposed tight. to like restrict blood flow and then release blood flow. So here's my thing. So All these like new- quickly releases the blood ba- back to the place that it just was missing from. There's some of these things where it's like, even if it does work, fuck that pussy shit. Yeah. I'd rather just like throw a fucking can or a pinch of Copenhagen in basically a can. Nowadays. I can't. Like, like, yeah, I yeah. mean, your dips yeah. are on mm-hmm. the extreme side. Thanks, Owen. You're welcome. I, I mean, they're Eric impressive. I've been, I've, been, like... I've been working very hard over the years. <laughs> uh, I'm gl- uh, uh, it means I've never been I've noticed. I've, I've, I've never noticed. been flossed. Yeah. That. yeah. Oh, so flossing. I got, that's also a dance. Yeah, I got flossed once. <laughs> Monica flossed me. She uh, is one of the co-owners at CrossFit Apollo. She had, yeah. she had it wrapped around my shoulder here. And I was like, ow. Ow, ow. She's like, it's okay. It's she's like, you're a baby. I was like, no, motherfucker. You are ripping out my <laughs> fucking armpit hairs. How the fuck is that gonna help my bicep muscle by you tearing out my fucking armpit Shave hairs? Shave your armpits. Yeah. But she was, you know, and she was talking to me about this stuff. I was like, yeah. wow, you really and she was like, Chad this, did it leading up to yeah. his CrossFit games, mm-hmm. huh? And so this was oh, this was why. new. Okay. I was I had just met these people and, and Monica. Oh, right. Monica, who is Chad's mom. 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 Co- Chad owner. Cole was on the show a while yep. back. They own the CrossFit gym I go to. I said, you know, she was talking to me about recovery and stuff. I was like, oh, wow, Monica, you really know a lot. And she's like, she she, and she says, yeah, why do you think my son made it to the CrossFit games? <laughs> and I said, because he's got two legs. You know, <laughs> it was just like, who can't make it to the CrossFit games? Give me two legs. Oh. I'll make it to the, you know, so it's just like, you know, this is like, that was probably a dick thing to anyway. say, but you know, yeah, you just, you just so come we're talking at me. About the Theragun. Well, yeah. So the sparring. Theragun, you're just sparring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Verbal so, um, sparring. yeah, the, um, so this Theragun and, and, and it's just, um, I, it, I don't like the tens units things or I didn't no. feel any benefit from that, but these, these Theraguns and there's a lot of different models and stuff out there. There's like hyper bolt or I don't even know. You can make your own by getting a drill and 
fucking i don't know this is what i'm talking about you yeah. could hurt yourself yeah and he's yeah. like it's not surgery or whatever well, I said it's, it's not, not a, a chainsaw, chainsaw. <laughs> yeah well this you know so oh, um it's a drill going into your for bones. for for sore spots for like a massage at home it's super fucking easy and convenient and their new model is quieter and there's no battery, so you just plug it in, which is really Charge convenient because the older model had a battery pack, which like it's not the end of the world, but it was it didn't look good. That's cool. There wasn't anywhere to put it in the house that looked good, and I was just like tired of seeing this. But yeah, so I got the yeah, you know, um, no. So that's that. Um, Theragun is 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 white a family approved, and actually, so they sent us the new model because yes. I uh, it was very generous and I usually d decline things yep. like this but I was yes. like I was like D if you send me a free gun I'm gonna give the gun I have to my mom yeah. who bought some dirty fucking knockoff yeah you know but like she uses yeah. hers too mm -hmm. so she likes it yeah I just I how think loud's the knockoff one I don't know but Probably it's not loud. but I'm you know it's like you know I want a Traeger girl and Stacy's right. like have you checked out Rec Tech I'm like Psh they don't exist. Who? Yeah, it doesn't say Traeger. I'm a brand loyal person. I, you know, you're um, brand loyal, but you don't even have a Traeger in the first place. Well, hey, you know, I would. Okay. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm getting yet. there. Yeah, still got, too cheap. He got sidetracked didn't at REI. We, didn't we talk about this? And yes, you guys were already we making fun of me. Was this, this is going to be our thing? What? Well, um, making fun we, of Traeger. We told making, you to get a Traeger, and you still yeah. have not got a Traeger. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll get one. The saga uh, continues. So. I have been using Tiger Balm and then like that, like high intensity, like CBD balm yeah. or whatever. Ooh, let's talk more about CBD oh, okay. on next week's show. Cause, okay. Because you know a lot about that. And I don't know fuck all about I that. Yeah. Dan is actually no, well educated in CBD. Well, I'll learn a lot. You know more than me because I don't even, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, way more than me. But, uh, you know, I want to, I, there's a lot more I want to get into sleep, hydration. Yeah, like I like, heat I like, therapy, I like what ice you, baths, yeah. things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, there's yeah. a, recovery is what takes the longest amount of mm -hmm. time. And if you're an athlete yeah. and you're like, go get her, blah, 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 no. like Derek, where you're constantly training, recovery isn't always It's the thing that separates me from my competition. Because you think it's boring and things like that. So I'm constantly reminding Derek, take a bath. Mm -hmm. Do this, do that. Slow down to yeah. go take a nap. And he's just like so high intensity. But recovery is where mm -hmm. it happens. So it's going to take a while to cover all of these topics. Yep. But that's what we got for our tips today. We got through train smart. Train, train smart. smart. Yeah. And Especially fucking drill, if you're getting right drill, back drill, into drill your it. ass. That drill your ass. Uh, uh, Theragon. Your I, think, I think the company that makes Theragon is actually called Therabody. So if oh. anybody wanted to look oh. that up, I think it's called Therabody now. Okay. So just to be clear. And again, we are, we have no affiliation with them. It's I don't just even have it's one. something. Yeah. Something. I was going to ask if I could gun it. I was, yeah. On the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Owen has to clean. Uh, Owen, Owen's got a fancy new setup here. Oh, man. He's using I'm iPhones. so stoked and, about it. Yeah. I'm a, there's still one more piece missing. I'm going to get that, like, uh, that hub thing where all these things sync. Oh, yeah. yes. I remember yeah. you talking about yeah. that. Yeah. But that'll do it um, as far as the topic today. Yep. Is there any in-house things you'd like to cover? No. No. Uh, Whataburger is better than In-N-Out. Whataburger is better that. than In-N-Out. Mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A <laughs> is king of all. And what else? Shakes are not smoothies. What, what does it say? One of these days. Oh. <laughs> the, the code that I set up. That uh, that I never talk about. Oh. That if you want to, um, the listeners to the show, if they use code SATURDAY, they get 20% off all the uh, workout programs. And now the um, the book. My Food Philosophy. Yeah, food. if you like us, if you like the podcast, if you want to support the podcast. You can do so at DerekWida.com. You can help us help you. That's you know, right. Help us help you. DerekWida.com. If you need help with your food, fitness, we got we got training programs for everybody. Everything, even kids. Even your kid. Yeah. Even Declan's your kid. loving that. I did. I I've 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 started seeing some videos people sending me of um, them working out with their kids. Yeah, They're I like, saw a okay. couple. Oh my god, dude! I got a beautiful video. Like uh, the mom took it, okay. and the dad was like coaching the daughter. Is a girl, right? Yeah. yeah, and she just gave the stink eye to the camera because his, you know. But that's exactly. What you know, she yeah. did not want to do another burpee, but her dad was like, Come on, you got two more. Oh. Two more. And then he was like oh. cheering around. He's like, Hey, you did yeah. three rounds, that's awesome. Oh. And the girl was like, 
But Aww. hey, she learned, aren't we she all like that? Aren't we, totally. Yeah, aren't we all like that? Yeah, learn how to work through those. Mm-hmm. Though. Totally. Yeah, all, all the training programs. DerekWhite.com. Code Saturday. I'll save you twenty percent. And yep. then, um, and then we got the email. Veinte. Yep. If you got when we, we got, do uh, when we do questions from the. We got a we got an email savage me at derekwida oh We're starting we're starting to savage. compile some good questions because yeah, we we'll do we'll do we'll do some podcasts where it's just Q and A. Yep. And so it's and and if you got questions for me, for Stacy, for Owen, so you can talk about fitness life, Stacy, you know, pregnancy and all that shit. If you want to talk to Owen about cameras and. <laughs> Oh, technology. dude! Yeah, I've had a, I've had a couple. Shit. Yeah, I tell you what. If, yeah. you, if you have a question yeah. uh, about cameras, don't DM Derek and ask him about mm-hmm. that stuff. I kick him over to you. He yeah. doesn't know. If you nope. have <laughs> savage me at derekwhited Ask us anything, um, so we can. Uh, I, I, I really I know like more doing about it. pregnancy or more things than just pregnancy. Yeah, I had a couple oh. people messaging me on Instagram <laughs> I about like, no, but I was encouraging people oh. to talk to you about oh. whatever. Oh. Okay, okay, got, got okay, it. Okay, like we're like how do you paint your nails? How do you like where, where do you you know like anything? All I'm just, girl stuff. I'm okay. just saying no, yeah. Or okay. your workouts, or why do you take creatine? Or I don't care. I'm just saying. Got it. Good lord, I can't. You gotta, you gotta really watch what you say. Ever here these days? I'm on fucking high alert these days. Okay, like the me, I am not conducive with the environment of 2020. It is a dangerous time to be a man like me. It's a minefield. <laughs> I am. I am tired. I am, yeah, I am on high alert. Um, that's all we got for you this week, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, thanks, Stacy, for joining us. Thank you, Owen. Thank you. You're a great almost co-host. Almost. One day. One day. I'm working hard, putting in the hours. Love you guys. Cheers.